This tutorial is part of our full stack React Django DRF channels project, DJ Chat. You can watch this tutorial and many more from our YouTube course playlist, or the whole course, including access to additional resources from our Udemy course. The Udemy course link, which provides the best price for the course, is in the video description. Now we have the building blocks of our first endpoint created in the previous tutorial. Let's now extend and create a name endpoint or extend the endpoint that we created previously and filter servers by quantity. So here we want to pass in a parameter, for example, an integer number 10 or 100 to specify how many servers to return. So this will be utilized very much as a way of filtering how many servers is returned. Maybe you have a component which shows the top 10 servers based upon the quantity of members in the server. This could be utilized to just return 10 servers, for example. Right, so let's get back into the view here where we have already created a filter for category. So let's go ahead and extend this now. So we just need to capture the quantity that may be passed in or sent as a parameter. So request.query underscore param dot get. So this will be named quantity qty. There we go. So now we just need a new if statement. So if the quantity exists, and we're going to then self dot query set equals so that's going to be query set and then we're going to extend and then return a quantity okay right so that should be should be self dot self dot query set so with that in place hopefully now we can pass in the quantity let's give it a go so here to extend the parameters at the top here, we're going to use the and here. And the next parameter is quantity equals. Uh, so what we've done here, we returned category one, which has two servers associated to category one or cat one. And we'll go ahead and quantity one. And you can see that would then reduce the amount of servers that is returned. 